Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Vault Hunters. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day, and I'm excited. I, I want to make a lot of progress in today's episode. Uh, between episodes, I've been making a whole bunch of vault crystals. So I got, what, uh, 10 crystals here, plus another four, and these ones actually have modifiers added to them. So we've got a Gilded Difficult Hunger Crystal. Remember, our current idol gives us immunity to hunger. So the hunger here doesn't matter as long as we don't end up using our, uh, our idol and uh, consuming it. We've got a Lucky and Fast Crystal. We've got an Easy Frail and Hunger Crystal. And then we have a Rich Trapped Hunger Safe Zone Inert Crystal. And this one is also great because Rich... Uh, gives you more chance for vault ores. Trapped increases the chance of trap chests, but safe zone makes it so that no chests will be trapped. So those essentially just offset each other completely. And then uh, hunger, we've got the idol for that. And inert apparently isn't actually... Uh, I, I thought it meant that you your skills like don't work. Like they'll they'll never... Uh, like they won't have a cooldown. They just they you like they won't recharge. But apparently, uh, you guys told me in the comments that the inert is actually a cooldown reduction, uh, penalty. So if you have a skill, for example, that were say it reduces the cooldown on dash by twenty five percent, it basically just means that you wouldn't get that cooldown reduction. And I don't actually have any skills at the moment that reduce my cooldowns. So, like, that's essentially a completely meaningless modifier. Like, it doesn't do anything. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, that's actually another great crystal. So, we actually have, like, four really good crystals there that I think will all be good for us. And I think I just want to run basically all four of those vaults uh, pretty much right off the bat and see how uh, how it goes. Um so let's do it. We haven't done a, a, a vault montage in a while. I think this is as good an opportunity as any. So I think we'll probably start with the easy frail hunger one. Then we'll do the gilded difficult hunger one. And then, or maybe we'll save the gilded difficult hunger one for last. Cause that's probably the one I'm most likely to die in. We'll do the lucky and fast one last. Yeah, let's do it this way, because these three all have hunger as a modifier, and we want to make sure that uh, we hopefully are able to use our vault idol without getting killed. I made a ton of potions as well, so like, yeah, I think we'll be good. So, without further ado, Vault Montage.
Well, my friends, I hope you enjoyed the vault montage. It went pretty well. Uh, unfortunately, I did lose one uh, of my arena crates in, I think it was the third vault. There was a, I, I picked it up. Uh, or I broke it so I could pick it up, and then a creeper exploded and uh, took the vault crate with it. But I didn't die at all. I didn't lose all my gear or anything like that. I just lost some of the loot, and we got plenty of other loot to make up for it. So uh, in one of the—I think it was the first vault. It was actually a scavenger vault, and we were able to complete the scavenger hunt. So we got this scavenger crate, and this had some interesting stuff in it. Looks like we've got some vault gear— this is Scrappy Plus. These are both just Scrappy. But then we got a full Vault Burger. This might actually be enough for us to level up. Not quite. Pretty close. But uh, not quite there. We got some Bronze, Catalyst fla Fragment, Star Essence, Burger Bun, Mystery Box. Nothing like super great. Uh, but actually that Star Essence does make a difference because I think we have just enough now uh, to make another Knowledge Star, which means we'll be able to unlock uh, the Danks mod, I think, right? Yeah, one more research point and we can unlock Danks, which will make looting vaults much faster. Uh, so that's great. And then in the final uh, vault, we killed the boss. It was the robot, the vault robot. So I got my revenge from uh, episode one. <laughs> I guess, and uh, or maybe it was whatever the first vault we ran was. Uh, and here we got some good stuff as well. Let's see. We got a Scrappy Plus Vault Helmet, some flasks, some vanilla stuff that is kind of, you know, fine, I guess. But for the most part, I think the big things there are the, uh, the Scrappy Plus Helmet. That's potentially pretty good. Uh, let me just dump this stuff where it belongs. Uh, throw those in there as well. And there we go. Okay, so let's go through all the other stuff. So over here, this is just blocks. Some of them are compressed, but nothing important there. This is all your kind of just regular vanilla stuff, a bunch of enchanted books, potions, you know, the normal stuff we did. I, we did find a Nautilus shell, which was nice, because uh, that does occasionally come up, and those are kind of a pain to get. Um, then... Vanilla ores, we got a decent amount of everything, no complaints there. But now for the important one. So, uh, first of all, vendors. We got a vendor selling a crystalline burger, which we will use uh, someday when we get an Eternal. We got a storage upgrade. I think that's probably for storage drawers. Actually, you know what? Let's just toss these into the vending machine. That way we can actually visualize it. Uh, let's just go... Boop, 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 and boop. There we go. All right, so if we go all the way down here to the bottom, yeah, storage upgrade for storage drawers. That's what I thought. We got four silver for a skill essence, and then here we got three silver for a legendary treasure. I mean, how can we not try that <laughs> at the very least? Uh, doesn't look like we actually have any vault silver over here, nor do I have a crafting bench, but I know we've got a bunch of it downstairs, so let's just, let's find out what the deal is with this legendary treasure. It sounds, uh, pretty fantastic, if I'm being honest, but, like, with a name like that, let's see what this is. So, legendary treasure, right-click to identify... Ah, I see. So it spits out a uh, an unidentified piece of vault gear. Okay. A treasure, or maybe it's a treasure sword. This might be... Okay, Scrappy and Soulbound. Soulbound is nice. It makes it so that uh, if you die, the item sticks with you, like you don't lose it. Um, but other than that, it's pretty underwhelming, so we're probably not going to be using that, uh, at least for now. But still, it was worth a shot. Uh, let's also take a peek. In here, we actually did get a couple of these Pandora's boxes, and these can be just about anything. 
We got a power bar and 12 volt apples. Okay, those might, the, the volt apples will be useful if we ever start making vault gear. We got a couple of unidentified relics. One from the two wolf set and one from the element set. I don't think we had uh, any other relics from either of those two sets. So that's, you know, fine, I guess. Uh, and then we got a ton of mystery boxes and relic booster packs. So let's do the mystery boxes first. And there's just a whole ton of them. There we go. We'll pick all that stuff up momentarily. Let's do the relic booster packs first. There we go. And that actually gave us enough experience to level up because you can get a very small amount of experience as the reward. Oh, that doesn't go there. Uh, you can actually get a very small amount of experience as the reward for opening those relic booster packs. So that's pretty good. And it looks like we did actually get a few more um, relics as well. We got a fire element, which actually pairs quite nicely with our air element that we just got. So now we have two from that set. We did get another mystery box. Just gave us glass. So nothing too crazy there. Got some random vanilla stuff out of there. Nothing too crazy. I suppose the iron goes in here as well. Uh, efficiency 5 on breaking 3 diamond shovel. I mean, sure, I guess. Whatever. Um, anything else? Not really. One star essence, I guess. That's something as well. Okay, there we go. So that takes care of all of our loot box type stuff. Um, but we do have a bunch of unidentified relics. And we're not going to, there's so many that I'm not going to do them all on camera. But we will roll the common ones together, I think. Because these are the ones that are most likely to actually be good. Let's just see. See what we get here. Okay, so we got a vault sword, just common. Okay, nothing crazy there. Vault leggings with increased durability. Another idol. Some boots and some boots. So none of these are that great right off the bat. They might be if we level them up, but uh, eh, I don't know. Let me go through and roll all the other stuff, and we'll see if there's anything here that's actually worth it. Okay, so we did all right. We did get a common sword over here that appears to have pretty good damage, actually. I think that would be an upgrade once we put sharpness on it. Um, we've got a common, two common chest plates, in fact, out of that batch. Uh, this one gives knockback resistance and has two levels which is pretty okay. We got some boots that have a cooldown reduction on them. And then we got a common vault axe as well that uh, nothing special, but it does have two levels on it. So, you know, all in all, not too bad. Uh, the idols, though, we did a little bit better. We got a parry idol, a resistance idol, and a wither immunity idol. And I really, I, I really like my immunity idols uh, because they just mean that you can essentially entirely negate the downsides of one of those crystals. Uh, if you know what's going on in advance, it helps out quite a bit. Sorry, I see melons that need harvesting and I just can't help myself. Like, <laughs> we, they, they're ready. They're ready. We must... Okay, anyway. Uh, as far as other stuff goes, a bunch of vault ores. I did actually get an echo gem, which is great. We got a bunch of statues. Uh, some of them better than others. This one gives terracotta. Uh, stone bricks, stone, stone bricks, snow blocks. That's not awful. Uh, so all sorts of good stuff. Um, but yeah, I think we are basically ready to go ahead and, uh, make our knowledge star. Let me get all this stuff put away first. Let's do that. Let me get everything put away. Uh, let me get the ores fortuned and whatnot. And then, uh, I think we're ready to make danks. All right, my friends, I got everything all put away, except for these melons, and I think the time has come 
for us to make another knowledge star. Uh, and actually, we did. We we still have a vendor, I believe, who is selling some. So let's just grab our vault bronze and all this kind of stuff, so that we can make some vault gold. Because I believe he was selling it for three. Vault gold, and that will save us some vault diamonds. Let's just double check, or maybe it was two vault gold. Either way, pretty sure there was, uh, pretty sure we, yes, here we go. So we'll take that, and we got our star core, and now we just need to make all of the star shards. One more. There we go. And Knowledge Star. Beautiful. So, uh, we definitely want tanks. This will allow us to loot vaults uh, much more efficiently than we otherwise would, so that's pretty good. Um, also, I have three unspent skill points, and I think I'm actually going to just get I think I'm going to get two levels of Twerker, which will increase the range that it works and also allow it to work on melons, pumpkins, cactus, and sugarcane. The final level would actually allow it to work on baby animals, but I don't think I need that right now. But you can see if I stand close enough to these guys, we will grow lots and lots of melons. So uh, that will help because melons and pumpkins can pop up in the uh, the altar for the vaults. So uh, in case that happens, it will make it so I don't have to wait around for an hour like I did earlier for a stack of melons to grow. Uh, so that'll be nice. Um, also, it'll work with sugarcane and cactus and a bunch of other stuff too. So just makes it'll just make sure that it's a bit easier to get uh, the resources for more vault crystals. Uh, but I still have one more skill point, and I think the last one I want to take is a level of unbreakable. Oh, just kidding. It costs two skill points for that. Uh, okay. Well, I will just hold on to it then for the moment. Although a level of reach isn't necessarily a terrible idea either, just to increase the the distance we can reach with for one block. Make it a little bit easier to reach certain, um, like, chests and stuff. Nah, I think we save up for Unbreakable. That's probably the smarter thing to do. Okay, so, Danks. We have unlocked them. So now we can craft them. Let's put this stuff into the chest. And these little guys are pretty awesome. So first thing we're going to need is some netherite ingots. And then we're going to need a bunch of our wutudai. Because these are required as well. And I'm going to make eight of these perfect gems. So that we can make two danks. And is it that? No, it's not. It's... Uh, that. There we go. So there's one, and there's the other. Okay, so two to start with. Now, you can upgrade these, but to upgrade to a level two dank, you need a pog. Level three? Actually... So, ooh, interesting. So I actually, I thought it would be, uh, the, the recipe would get more and more expensive each time, but it really doesn't. Like, this requires compressed redstone, but like, who cares? <laughs> compressed gold, compressed emerald, compressed diamond. But this is like, this, that's not a big deal. That's really not that much. So, okay, cool. Anyway, uh, so now that we have these, these will allow us to basically store multiple things in a single block. So we've got nine slots on the level one dank, and each of these can hold up to 256, which is four stacks uh, of 
Is that right? Yes. Four stacks of the uh, the item that we want to put in here. And we can pull whatever we want in here. We can put in potions. We can put in all sorts of goodies. So, for example, when I'm looting a vault, I dedicate multiple shulker boxes uh, or multiple inventory slots to splash potions of healing and also uh, to a shulker box that is specifically for potions. But I can put all of these in here, and then I believe I can shift... No. Shift right-click? Nope. Is it control-click? Press control to lock. Maybe they... Maybe they need to go here? Yeah, there we go. Uh, but it should work... Hmm. I wonder why this slot is green. Either way... Uh, this will work. This way there's always potions in there. And then if I hold shift while my, uh, while I have the dank selected, and I scroll, or is it control? There should be a way to change this to different modes. Is it just I? Yeah, okay, so it's actually a hotkey. It's not control scroll. Okay. Well, we go construction mode. If we put it in construction mode, then uh, I maybe it won't work on splash potions, but it should work on regular healing potions. So just for demonstration purposes, let's take these out and put in that. Okay. There we go. Oh, wait a minute. That's not right. We want this guy. So if we put that in, and now we change it to construction mode. Now now it wants to be on splash potions? I'm so confused. Oh, because this was in there. So... If we... What if we put a bunch of stuff in here? Like this, right? Change it to construction mode, and now... Oh, I see. So it won't actually show you what you're, you have selected unless you have multiple items in there. But if we're on this, and we right-click, nothing happens. If we do it on... Okay, so yeah. Uh, you can't use splash potions, it looks like, from Danks. I'm learning. I've never actually used this mod before. I just looked up a tutorial, so <laughs> you'll have to bear with me. Um, but if we... Did it actually give me night vision? What happened to my... Oh, it's right here. There we go. Uh, but yeah, so what we can do is put in a bunch of healing potions, and then this thing can basically hold all of our healing potions... Oop. That was an accident. Can basically hold all of our healing potions in one spot. And we can also put all of our splash potions in here too, if we want. We don't necessarily have to. I don't need the night vision potion in the, in the vault. Uh, but I will want to upgrade these to instant health two potions. We'll also probably want to make sure... I think we're going to have like one vault for like utility and one vault for, uh, for like, other stuff, right? So, uh, like, things that we pick up. And we will be picking up a lot of instant health one potions. We would also be picking up a lot of bottles of enchanting. Uh, that's the thing. Although I suppose those could also be something that we would potentially end up using. Maybe. So we could put those in here as well. Um, and then what else do we want to make sure we have space for? Probably Vault Bronze, Star Essence, all the burger parts for sure. We get tons of those. Uh, where's cheese? There we go. The Magnetite we get a ton of. Um, all the basic vault gems, probably. Like, all sorts of different things. Uh, gold and iron and diamonds and emeralds. We pick up a lot of those. So, yeah, basically what we can do is set these danks up this way. So, like, 
put all of this stuff in here, right? All the burger parts, and then I guess uh, the magnetite, right? Set this to filtered pickup, and then uh, we want to lock all of these so that they are always set up uh, so that basically it won't, uh, if we take everything out, it will like remember that this is what I want in here. But then if we grab some diamonds and we just toss them on the ground, since this thing is set to filtered pickup, if we pick these up, it will go straight into the dank instead of going into my inventory which makes it so that if we're in a vault and we're like breaking chests or whatever, uh, we can make it so that we really don't have to do all that much inventory management. I think it would probably be smart as well. Do I have another arena crate? Boss crate, boss crate, boss crate. No, no more arena crates, but I'll crowd. I think I want three danks. So we'll have one, two, three danks, and then we'll have uh, other stuff over here, and then we'll have all this space to use for other things. So anyway, let me uh, work on this. Let me get things set up. I need to do some thinking about what I actually want to have danks for. Um, but let me kind of work with this a little bit, and then I'll show you what I come up with. Okay, I think I have it figured out. So I ended up making four danks altogether. Uh, this one is going to be my hot bar dank, and in here, we have all this stuff. So uh, healing potions, candy bars, cobbled deep plate, just building blocks, hardy apples, cobalt apples, power bars, eyes of ender, bottles of enchanting, and golden carrots. And this is all going to go in here. I'm going to actually toss that into there because I don't need that many bottles of enchanting. Um, but yeah. This way, my food, my potions, my, like, all the stuff that I normally keep in my hotbar can all basically just fit in this one spot. And if I need it, I can just cycle through, and uh, it should all work. You can totally eat carrots from your hotbar, by the way. So, yeah, that should be good. Uh, so that's the first tank. Then, for the others, we have a couple more. So this guy is just going to be all of our gems that we find semi-frequently. Uh, so your Beniotite, your Alexandrite, your Laramar, your Wutidai, and Black Opals, because I know they're supposed to be really rare, but, like, I got 47 of them, so they can't be that rare. Uh, <laughs> uh, so that should be good. Vault Diamonds as well, Star Essence, and Vault Bronze. Those will all go into this tank. Uh, this one is... Diamonds, emeralds, gold, and uh, iron ingots, burger parts, and then magnetite. That should be fine. And then this one is going to be ores. So right now I've just got iron, gold, lapis, redstone, and coal ore. But we will also go with benetite ore, alexandrite ore, laramar ore, and one other one. I don't know what yet. Um, but whatever we run into that's you know, relatively common. So, uh, yeah. And then that should significantly reduce the amount of stuff that we pick up. I mean, uh, enchanted books are something that we always end up with a ton of, but those don't really work for danks because they have different MBT data, uh, and they won't all fit in one slot because they're not the same item. Um, I suppose we could do one for mob drops eventually, but right now, like, I didn't want to spend, I, I could actually make one more, but I really don't want to spend all of my Wu to die on this. <laughs> <laughs> that seems uh, maybe a little excessive, so we're not going to do that. Uh, I will, however, want to upgrade to a higher tier of dank uh, once I get a pog, because that will uh, not only allow it to store uh, a thousand items, so almost four times as many items. Um, in fact, I think exactly four times as many items. Yeah. Um, it will also, I think, add an additional row of inventory slots, I think. But I'm not 100% sure on that, so don't quote me on it. But anyway, we've got Danks. So next time we loot a vault, uh, we'll be able to try this out and see how it goes. Uh, I'm going to use up the rest of these splash potions, but then I'm probably just going to take regular potions into the vault instead, just because it's going to be a lot more convenient. Uh, so yeah, all in all, I'm really happy with our progress. Guys, I think that is going to do it for today. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching. 
and I'll see you in the next one.